Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Timber and Stone Beta. Uh, picking up pretty much exactly where we left off last time. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, pardon pardon my voice, and uh, if I have a little bit of uh, sniffles, that I'm just getting over a cold I had last week. Uh, but definitely on the mend. I uh, certainly feel well enough to be gaming and recording. <laughs> so this is uh, what I usually like to do anyway if I'm sick. So last time I fought some... Uh, last couple of times, I fought the, uh, some wolves a while ago, and then I had a, a skeletal infantry. Just one, thankfully. And here we are. Oh, gosh. What's... That looks like a, a, a thing. I mean, a goblin marauder. That seems moderately bad. Uh, you. Alright, hold on, let's pause. You're my infantry. See, I'm learning. That's weird, I can click that through the notification window. Nice. Okay, get your your copper short sword. And... I actually want to make you stay inside and see what this guy will do to the door. I think. Okay, yeah, he's uh he's attacking it. So go go get him. Oh, that door will not open while he is out there. Are you gonna go through that same glitchy hole in the corner? No, okay. Yeah, just go open the door. Come on. Oh. Hey. Are you fighting each other through the door? I wasn't watching your health to see if you got hit, Bernard, but... Um, yeah, sweet. Bernard, excellent work. Oh, there's my forager. Nice, nice of you to show up, man. Nice. All right. Back to work, everybody. Goblin Marauder, slain by Bernard. Bernard, the hero of the uh, colony here. So, I don't know what was going on there. He, like, was going to go path through, I think, where this last time we had this glitchy block. But then he changed his mind and came back and said, I'm just going to stab this guy in the head right through the door. And just, man, Bernard... Total badass is like, I hear him banging on the door, so he just takes his sword, like, shoves it. <laughs> I'm imagining this, like, like some kind of a, you know, like in a, in a movie, this this scene where, like, somebody's, like, trying to get through a door, and the guy, in, in, you know, he's trying to defend everybody, and he's inside, has a sword, and he knows this guy's on the other side of the door, so he just rams the sword through the door, and, like, skewers the guy on the other side of the door with it. That's what I'm imagining Bernard just did to that goblin. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> and let's get back to building. Um, apparently, that goblin decided that this was an insurmountable wall. I'm not totally sure why, but it's cool that he thought that. Uh, personally, I will consider it to be more or less safe as soon as we finish off these few blocks right here. Um, but obviously, I want to continue building it beyond that. So, a another good start to a day. Uh, still looking for those migrants, hoping... I mean... Somebody, if you're good at blacksmithing, that would be great. Because I'm, I'm loath to pull away anybody from their current jobs. Let's just take a look. Food, 160... Definitely not a problem with food at this point. Uh, I could... What are you good at? You're actually a, a okay blacksmith, aren't you? You're a much better forager, though. I mean, you've been working at it longer, of course, but... What is... What does that say down there?
Oh wow, profession changing will result in a complete loss of the current profession's experience and reduced morale? Well, frankly, I don't think his morale could be much lower. <laughs> I don't know how you raise morale. We've got a fairly good variety of food. Um, so yeah, I didn't know you lost all the experience. Well, no wonder Bernard's taken so long to level up if he has to keep, you know, has to keep switching. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, Bernard, I didn't know. And uh, your morale is low. Oh, that's not right for the hero of the colony. Well, hopefully, Bernard, you'll be able to stop switching soon. Oh, hey, look, there we go. Our wall is more or less done-ish. So let's go ahead and uh, designate out some more... Um, let's see, there's there's a button to do this. I can remember what it is. Alt, that's the one. Hit Alt, that does just the outline. Bammo! Should have been using that from the beginning, honestly, but whatever. I liked doing it piece by piece. So awesome. We have a fortress. We are more or less safe as long as Bernard can keep just killing people through the door. Gonna go through a lot of doors that way, but I'm okay with that. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. I try to always make sure I leave a few stone and whatnot. I better check my hand tools and then stone hammer. Why not? Kaz is 11, 11 stone mason. Stone pickaxe, got three of them, that's fine. Stone hoe, oh, gone through a couple of those. Oh you know, yeah, I have iron, what? Wow. Um. You know what, I can make an iron iron uh no i can't make iron helm iron chain helm? maybe i should just save it for steel i think that's what i'll do for now i really prefer to just turn it right into steel Seems like that would be more better use of my iron. I, I would like to say, like, oh, it seems like I'm doing pretty good fine right now. You know, pretty fine right now anyway. So what's the big deal? But fact of the matter is I've uh, really barely been challenged. I've actually just fought, I mean, the, the goblin and the skeleton. That was, that was good that Bernard down there was able to take them on. Oh, poor Bernard. Such low morale. Oh, I'm stuck in this weird... There we go. Hey, he's got great morale. How about you? Your morale's not so hot. Huh. Level 6 Forager. Cool. So I don't know. I don't know what to do about morale. I don't know how morale works right now. Or if it works. Yeah, I definitely need another miner. Alright, so I will go ahead and... As per previous times, go ahead and pause for a while, let things progress, maybe we'll finish off another level of wall, and, uh, yeah, just kind of keep waiting on those migrants to show up. I've got, uh, food, food to spare. Food, food and jobs to spare. Come on down to Grimton. I just noticed something when circling around my wall here. This block is missing. I don't know how or why that is suddenly the case. That is pretty crazy, in my opinion. So, yeah, that, 
that's gone now. So suddenly my wall is not so safe, and I don't know why. Weird. Anyway, uh, other than that, things are still going well. Just wanted to point that out, that that block on the corner just literally disappeared. Um, I don't think I've, I've not even, like, brought up the menu. So other than autosaves, I've not done anything. I've not, like, you know, exited and reloaded or anything like that. Interesting. So anyway, uh, back to pause. We'll check back uh, when we get around uh, probably noonish. Hey everybody, checking back in here. Uh, it's a little, quite a while actually after noon on this day. It's been an uneventful day. Uh, a lot of kind of just chilling out. Um, mainly waiting for stone Bernards. Uh, only working with stone pickaxes. So I, I've not quite yet wanted to, although I'm thinking now I should be pulling my forager dude, Bernard Palmer here. Oh, he just got a boar. That's good. Hopefully get some more animal hair. Yeah, a bunch more animal hair. Awesome, man. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, uh, see, I hate to... Now that I know that they lose their experience when they change profession, his morale's already, like, tanked to down to nothing. But, uh... His experience is actually building up pretty good, so maybe I'll wait t until he levels up. Can't take that much longer, right? He's got a lot of bushes to harvest from. Yeah, so I think maybe I'll wait until he does that, and then I'm going to pull him back as a blacksmith so I can get better everything. Um, and I don't really need the foraging anyway, because if I take a look at my raw material food, is it 230? I still haven't found, haven't had anybody. No, nobody's knocking at the door. Nobody wants to live here. I mean, perhaps they're all just uh, scared. Oh, that dropped a little bit there, but um, you know, just scared, afraid of uh, what they heard about that that first fateful night when the spiders arrived and we lost somebody. But since then, I, you know, we've definitely well established plenty of food. I'm, I'm not aware of. Well, what is it? There's like a the the wealth or whatever measurement. I'm not totally sure uh, what exactly increases that. Like, I don't know if like this cobblestone construction. I don't know how that impacts anything. I mean, maybe this is so such an extremely cheap place that just nobody wants to live here. <laughs> uh, am I building the slums of timber and stone? All right, bunch more cobblestone. Our mine is getting down there too. Let me see if I can page down a hundred times. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how deep I'm allowed to go. but apparently deeper than where I'm at, so... That's that's pretty good. I like that the way that looks with the, the levels. I mean, that's, that's pretty good looking, you know. Oh, interesting. That's... Huh. Alright. Anyway, so yeah, not not a ton going on. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, it looks like he is confused about where to go. So... Hmm, hmm. How do I get him over there? Yeah, I didn't really quite think through how that does it. Well, no, he's, can, he can reach out. He just gotta go all the way around. Dude. Quit being lazy. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah, there you go. See, that works. Let's 
See if I can get a bunch of cobblestone built up by the time he gets there. Finish off this wall quickly. Probably won't be able to get enough, but... <laughs> yeah, right right there, right next to the desert. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Lazy dude. Couldn't do that on your own, huh? Wow, he is leveled up a lot. It's like two swings of the hammer and he's done. Whew. Almost done. Oh, Kaz. Four to go. Now we have an... Excellent wall. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Now, the first time I played this game, I didn't even finish a house before I was just slaughtered. You know, the little, little tiny house, like, it wasn't even big enough to fit, like, these fields in it. Like, just barely fit around those two, I guess. But yeah, awesomeness. And since successfully crafts cobblestone, what? Um, all right, I guess I need one more. Hammers are one of my most important. There we go. Build cobblestone. And finish off this place. Alt. Designate. Thank you. Sweet. And then I will need to designate out beyond that. Which I'm really not sure how to do. But I'll figure that out later. So, coming up on evening. Do do. Yeah, that is looking that is looking really great. Looks looks like a fortification now. Where are my migrants, you know? What? <sighs> well, anyway, how's that how's that forager doing? He's got to be close, right? Oh, very. Yeah, like what? Three, four more things foraged to forage? Okay, he's coming over to this bush, and another bush, and another bush. Oh, plenty of bushes to forage from. And after that, it is starting to get dark. After that, you are becoming a blacksmith. Because I do believe my food is 245. And I know you are contributing to that quite a bit. Actually, quite, quite a lot, actually. But I, I need better stuff. Weapons, armor especially. Okay, like three more now. Come on, Bernard Palmer. Not to be confused with Bernard. So I don't know how many people who are watching this are actually participating in the Beta of Timberstone. Timber and stone, or if you're just interested. Uh, did he not? He didn't destroy that bush when he forged from it. Weird. Um, so, I mean, if if you're actually in the beta, I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are. Go ahead, you know, leave me a comment or something on this video. Um, I'm enjoying a lot so far. I'm really excited to get into the beta 2, which I was just reading on the Timber and Stone website. Robert's been saying that. Uh, after this update that I'm playing right now, um, would honestly probably be slightly out of date by the time this video is up. 
Um, because he, he updates fast. Okay, he's a level 7 forager. That means you are now a blacksmith. Thank you. Um, blacksmith. Come on, let's go. Oh, saved. Let's go home, blacksmith. Let's go home. Back home to your little forge and anvil. Yeah, all right. So now if I hit... Great. Okay, cool. So I got a blacksmith coming on home. Good news. Um, so, uh, my point, anyway, that I was talking about is that Robert's been releasing updates just, like, fast and furious here. And it's been one a week or slightly more than that. So it's hard to keep up with the absolute latest version. Uh, when I try to record, like, a couple of episodes, it'll just be like, by the time I get the second episode out, it's out of date. <laughs> but, so there's only supposed to be uh, one more zero... 1.9 to be the last beta round one update and then we'll get into the beta 2 round 0 0.2 I'm assuming which will should be a lot more added features uh, the beta round one here has been almost exclusively bug fixing and a little bit balancing especially like food balancing um, yeah awesome he's gonna make it back that's really what I what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so first of all, let's go here and let's see steel ingots. You need iron ingot and coal. Um, iron ingots, you just need iron ore. I mean, this stuff is all just like go to town, dude. Okay, so five iron ingots. Go ahead and, and do your work. Forge needs fuel. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Now, because I don't have enough guys to have a wood chopper designated all the time, I'm going to go and try using some coal. Um, so we'll see. Like, it looks like that's going to last a pretty dang long time. I don't know if I can, like, un designate that as the fuel source, but. I'm going to try to keep a close eye on that. Oh, wow. Um, oh, but that was that was an ingot. that He made an ingot there. Okay. So that's why that dropped that much. Yeah. Great. I'll go with that. And there we go. But I wanted some more coal. So. <laughs> Sweet. We are crafting. We are climbing the crafting tree. Uh, let's take a look at how much stone have we got. Oh, good mount. Good, good, good. I mean, honestly, like, I have so much iron to, to craft here. It's ridiculous. Mithril ore, silver ore, gold ore. Steel. Oh, copper and tin. I can make bronze. That's nice. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep making iron. Let's take a look at that. And so if I, like, right now switch this... Oop. Excuse me a moment here. Oh, so he took another one already. 